So this past Friday, sorry, my voice, I just now noticed it's got a lot deeper because it's really late at night right now. And, you know, I'm doing another little all-nighter making videos. Apologies if y'all can hear my phone in the background. But, so, um, this last Friday was actually, I was pretty excited for it because I was excited for this album. Um, mostly because of Lil Yachty, but also because I was a big, I was becoming, I am becoming a bigger James Blake fan. I like James Blake. Um, I loved him a lot on Utopia, and that's kind of where this this like is coming from. I like his vocals on songs. I liked him on that Don Tolliver song he was on on Lovesick. I loved him on that that Hummingbird song he had with Metro Boomin, and his other inclusions on that album were also really good. I liked him. Um, and that brings me to Bad Cameo, which is kind of like like Lil Yachty's like back on that let's start here vibe with James Blake, but also mixed with a little more actual rapping in it. You know, um, it has very nice vocals that sound great with the production. That was the whole goal of the album, and, like, it, it hits its mark. I love the way it sounds, the vocals with amazing production. Neither James Blake or, like, Lil Yachty outdo each other. They both do great on the whole time. Like, the whole time, they, they're they able to match up with each other at certain points. Like, one might be doing better, and then here comes the other one doing better immediately after that. They just, you know, they even each other out. I feel like I didn't feel like one of them outdid the other one. Um, I do think certain parts of certain songs feel empty, they feel stagnant, and it kind of feels like they're making the same sound, or like making like the same vocal hit, kind of just to do it, you know what I'm saying, kind of like I just listen to a tight beat, and it's like playing over and over again in my ear, which, yes, can sound annoying, and it kind of makes certain songs drag a little bit, but that's about it. Um, it's not the most, like, amount of replayability, however, that's not any quality, like, fault to the quality of music, it, that's just a me thing, I, I, you can't really, I don't replay Let's Start Here the most, unless I'm in a, <coughs> a certain mood, excuse me, or, like, this album's gonna be the same way, certain songs I can't really listen to that much, because I'm not always in the mood for it, um, like I said, certain times, like, you know, it feels a little stagnant, um, it, it, Definitely feels like good music to close your eyes and just wipe your mind. You know what I mean? Like, just clear out. Just take a deep breath, almost. Um, Midnight and Transport Me are definitely the best two songs in the album. I love Transport Me. Transport Me is a very good song. Um, it's like great segues, great transitions through each other. Like, the album flows together extremely well. That cannot be, that cannot be downplayed. The album flows together so well. It's only 10 songs, which is really great. I love 10 songs. 10 songs, 43 minutes, really great runtime. It felt like a movie, like a like a movie runtime or like a like it segue together perfectly. Like I didn't even realize I was on to the next song. Sometimes the only real indication I had was that there was a different beat or different vocals being hit. And I was like, this feels like a completely different vibe. Um, they don't switch up on each other much like they don't. It, like it just it feels like you're listening to a very complete experience heck i even like the album cover i feel like each side is like owned to like two different cultures you know what i'm saying i love that about it um this is all this is so random and it doesn't like it doesn't affect like the grading of the album really but like i like the names of the songs like midnight transport me the gray bad cameo i think that's cool i'd love to know why this album's called that i definitely think like this makes me curious to see like what because I feel like this is like the first time they've like collaborated. They did a whole on album. It makes me curious on what exactly else they could do. You know, what other avenues could they hit? What other lanes could they go down? Because they're both showing that they're very versatile artists. James Blake, I've known that. Lil Yard is really starting to show it off recently. It makes me curious on what future this could in hold for like more of their music you know will they collaborate again or will they drop this album and then go on to their own thing Lil Yachty might go back to rapping um but yeah this is just insanely good another like it's not it's a highlight on Lil Yachty's spot um category not category oh my god catalog again another highlight on James Blake's this is both really good music from both of them um it definitely has me excited to see if they collaborate again. I hope they do because <coughs> because of this album. I hope they are both. I hope they both like like this sound, and I hope they both want to create more albums of it again, or at least I like, collaborate on each other's albums. I, like I I like when Lil Yachty stays in this lane. I really do. I hope he stays in it a lot, and makes me like James Blake more. 
overall, I give this album like an 8.5 out of 10. That sounds really good to me, 8.5. I think that sounds right. 